Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, you finally get to meet my other little puppers. Her name is Nymeria. This is my second Chihuahua Rat Terrier. Her name is Nymeria. Like I said, if you watched my last video, she was named after Arya's dire wolf from Game of Thrones. We got her on the day of the last season of Game of Thrones launch. So it was very fitting because Cupid got named Cupid because we got him as an early Valentine's Day. So we wanted to stick to the getting them in that month. They get a name of something going on in that month. So let's talk some traits about her. She is five months old now. She doesn't really like looking at me as much when you're- <laughs> Cupid's jealous. She doesn't really like looking at me too much when you're holding her unless she's like in your lap or on your chest when you're just holding her. Still allergic, still taking my allergy pills. She has more of the Chihuahua coloring and the Chihuahua shaped head and ears. However, she has the Rat Terrier body with the little Chihuahua short stubby legs. She is definitely more vocal and thinks she's a big bad dog. Uh, like a chihuahua. She does have a very good bladder though. She holds it a lot better and I feel like that is going to be the rat terrier trait in her. I'm gonna put her back with Cupid because he's freaking out right now because that is his girl. That's his buddy. When it comes to training her, she has picked up. I feel like she's not picking up as quickly as Cupid. So I feel like in that instance she has more of a chihuahua type training style but Thankfully, she is not very stubborn when it comes to trying to teach her. The one thing that we have had issues with is she will potty on the potty pad. So she has been like partially potty trained. However, she's not potty trained for outside. She will literally hold it. So that is something that we're working on. She has not been growing for about a month. So I believe she is at her full size and she's only four pounds. We call her Pancakes, short stack, and Chicken Nugget because she's just so little and cute. And I feel like she has more Chihuahua traits, which she loves cuddles. She loves to be held. And honestly, if you let her, she would eat all day long until she like threw up and then she'd throw up and eat more food and like it'd be a never ending cycle with her. So food and cuddles are her two favorite things in the entire world. When we first brought her home, we were really nervous. When we first brought her home, we were really nervous because Cupid was not a huge fan of other dogs or cats for that matter. And he's not a people person. He does not really like anyone besides me and Johnny. And so we were really scared bringing her home. And at first he was very, very timid, wanted nothing to do with her, would freak out if she got too close to him. A couple hours went by and then he kind of was like, all right, you're here and you're obviously not leaving right now. So I guess I will tolerate you. And obviously she has never left. So that's his absolute buddy. They, he loves her and they cuddle. And even when she doesn't want to cuddle with him, he will like lay on top of her, which is freaking adorable. And they get very jealous of each other if one's being pet and the other one's not. Like, they will whine and jump and cry. She is a very emotional dog, I feel like, in a different aspect of Cupid. Cupid is more anxious and she is more, oh, you're not holding me and you're not cuddling me 24 seven. I'm gonna cry about it because now I'm sad. She is currently teething, so she's losing all of her teeth and if we don't catch her, she will eat them, which is super cute. I feel like <laughs> it's actually TMI, but kind of funny. She has a rat terrier's butthole because it sticks out of her butt. It protrudes a little bit and a little chihuahua, a little, little butt. And so she has poops that are almost as big as her. When we first brought her home, like I said, she was 12 weeks old. And so she was being fed like special, not really special, but like puppy hard food. And she has definitely digestive issues and could not process it very well and got very sick to the point that she was vomiting and diarrhea. And I panicked because I, you know, have got to have her for I think it was two days before she became sick 
And so we panicked and took her to the vet and they did some x-rays and found out that it was just, she's not processing that food. And so they gave us some special food to flush her out and then we immediately changed her to a more natural diet that we already had Cupid on. I feel like because we got her at 12 weeks where we got Cupid at nine, she was more used to being around people so she wasn't nearly as timid which was really nice and a lot easier for her to adjust to us as well as the house. During the move, she actually has not been that bad where Cupid has been extremely anxious. Sorry, this is kind of a Cupid update also. But it's just really, it's really interesting to compare the two of them when they are the exact same breed. They're both half Chihuahua Rat Terriers. However, her parents were reversed. Her mom was a rat terrier and the dad was a chihuahua. Because of her size, I'm assuming that the mom was a toy rat terrier, but we don't know because it didn't, it doesn't list the mom's weights because of the fact of them have hiding puppies and not having puppies and they don't have a precise weight so they just don't want to give one because they don't want you to think, oh, your, your dog's going to be 50 pounds because the mom was pregnant, which I mean, that's an exaggeration, but you know. And I think she definitely has like her dad's coloring. Something that I do really like about her is she doesn't really shed. She is significantly more short hair than Cupid. Cupid has been shedding, especially now that we're into summer, he's shedding a lot more. Her entire belly is hairless, which is so funny and cute. We are absolutely not breeding them. The second that I can, we're actually gonna get her fixed and then we will get him snipped afterwards. Obviously she's a priority because the minute she goes into heat, keeping them apart is gonna be absolutely miserable, not just for me, but for them as well. And messing with dog diapers and everything, I mean, if I have to, I will, but it's something that obviously I'd like to avoid. It is really cute that they are both now at their full grown sizes with her being at four pounds and Cupid at five and a half. But it's so crazy to see the size difference. Their body lengths are about the same. Her head is a little bit smaller, which is funny because her ears are big, so they're a little disproportioned, but that's the chihuahua in her. But Cupid's legs are just so much longer that he is like almost double her height, which is really funny. She doesn't, she's not crazy playful. She does like to chew on a few toys and her and Cupid will kind of dog wrestle or play or whatever they're doing. But she doesn't really like to play nearly as much as like Cupid. So I feel like she definitely has the Chihuahua personality there. And she will not go for walks. She is absolutely terrified. I'm not really sure what side that comes from. I'm guessing the Chihuahua just because she is small. Honestly having, we, so, okay. When we got Cupid, it honestly was a very, in my opinion, spur of the moment thing. I don't necessarily regret it, but it's not something that I had planned on or was intending on doing. Getting her was on purpose. We know that and even with Cupid not really liking other animals, Cupid being home alone, I can tell was not a good thing for him. Even though he was crated, he yelled and screamed and threw a fit. And I, that's the anxious part of him, I get it. Once we got her, honestly, knowing he seeing her that she was in her crate also, he was a lot more calm when we were leaving because he knew that we weren't just leaving him. Like... He wasn't afraid that we weren't going to come back. He knew that because there was two of them, like, oh, well, they can't possibly leave both of us. So that actually did mellow him out a little bit. And then the move happened and he's became an even more anxious mess than he ever was before, which is, it's very nerve wracking. The one downside to Nymeria is she is still eating her poop. They say they should grow out of it at four months. Obviously, she's past that. And they said that it can go all the way up to a year. I don't know if it's because she's a female. I don't know if it's because she's like worried about nesting or predators. Or, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I've done a lot of research and honestly at this point it's very, very nerve wracking. And I'm just hoping it's something that she grows out of. I'm all over the place. Anyways, so we got her for Cupid to kind of calm down. Even though we knew he wasn't really big into other animals. We were hoping that getting a, another small dog or the same type of dog that he would really like it. We were really looking at miniature pinchers. 
or miniature pincher chihuahua breeds or miniature pincher toy rat terriers something along those lines something small and we really liked the black and red coloring that she is and we wanted another boy because that made most sense because we wouldn't have to worry about anyone going in heat or anything but unfortunately but she kind of just popped up and we went to look at her and i knew immediately that we had to have her even though she was a girl and seeing her, when they told us that she was 12 weeks and she was tinier but older than Cupid, like I knew she was gonna be super little and I was super excited because I wanted, I, if I were to get a dog, I want a little dog. Not saying Cupid's not, cause I mean he's only five and a half pounds, but with his long legs, he just seems bigger. And it's crazy cause they don't have a big weight comparison. Like they're not that much different in weight, but picking them up, like I can tell like, Nymeria just feels lighter. I feel like Cupid definitely has some muscle though, and that's gonna be the rat terrier in him. She, if you look at her thighs and her shoulders and front legs, she does kind of have some, some muscle there, and I feel like that's definitely the rat terrier. She's a little bit more beefy. So I think she is actually a really good mix. If I could have the perfect dog, I would mix the best characteristics of both of them together, but obviously that's not gonna happen, and and they're both their own little personalities and and she's just loving life you know loves to eat gets to cuddle with cupid and warm towels are their favorite thing in the entire world they, they'll curl up on a, a warm towel and just out and they have this one blue toy that since they're both teething they love to chew on and they'll fight over for hours which is so funny but she's asleep as you saw, Cube is not only jealous, but he's a little bit possessive, I feel. So I'm not going to get her back up off the bed. I'm going to leave her be and live her best little puppy life. But I wanted to introduce you because, I mean, you've met Cupid and everyone seemed to, to very much in, enjoy him and love him. And he's freaking adorable. And so I wanted to introduce my little chicken nugget. And, uh... She's absolutely precious, and I love her, and I love him, and those are my, my little Chihuahua Rat Terriers. So, I do have some fun dog video ideas coming up in the future. It's just we're trying to get everything settled or try to get everything just calmed down and relaxed and try to reduce, like, Cupid's anxiety as much as possible, which I've been working on. I don't think it's necessarily working, but, you know, that's life. But that's all I've got. Uh, I will link the Cupid video so you can go check out him when he was a little baby. I will do an updated video, or I'm, this kind of was my updated video. I'll show him when we do dog videos. I'm just gonna leave him be right now. Honestly, I don't want to mess with either one of them because he's just chewing and laying with her and she's asleep and they're being good and I'm gonna take advantage of that. So that's all I got for today. Links are down in the description. Hit that subscribe button if you have not so you can check out more cute puppy videos as they come in. Like this video if you do want to see more puppy videos so I know that that is something that you want to see. Until next time, guys.